wildlife biologist uh, here at DCR. Um, and today we are sweeping one of our fields for monarch caterpillars. Uh, today is July 27th, and it's kind of the peak of their breeding season at this point. Um, so we are looking to collect as many caterpillars as, as we can to move them to a new milkweed patch uh, that will not be mowed until the fall. Um, this field up here where we are right now um, is due to be mowed um, in, in August. Uh, we delayed mowing this year because there was a rare bird breeding up here. Um, and as a result, we have all this beautiful uh, milkweed uh, growing all around, which has attracted monarch butterflies. Um, and they've been laying their eggs on here and caterpillars have been uh, hatching from those eggs and eating the milkweed. Um, so in order to protect these caterpillars, uh, we're going to move them to a new patch. Monarchs are a unique species because they are only migratory uh, butterfly that we have in North America. Um, the ones that we have in the Northeast will migrate all the way down to Mexico. Um, and one of the reasons that they've been listed as endangered is because they are in steep decline, uh, largely due to deforestation that's happening down in Mexico where they winter, uh, but also due to habitat loss up here in the Northeast um, as a lot of these fields and open spaces become uh, developed over time. Um, in addition, they're also threatened by uh, climate change, um, overuse of pesticides and herbicides in agricultural settings, and even in people's backyard where people don't want milkweed. Um, they'll spray them uh, and get rid of them, or even just pull them out of the ground um, and get rid of the primary host plant that these caterpillars rely on. Another threat that the monarchs are facing is that there's an invasive plant called uh, black swallowwort. There's also a pale swallowwort too. Um, it's similar to milkweed uh, in that the monarchs will actually lay their eggs on that plant as well. However, when the caterpillars hatch from the eggs, they cannot survive on swallowwort. So as a result, um, the caterpillars uh, die when they uh, hatch on those, on those plants. Um, so we try and remove those plants when we find them um, and try and promote as much milkweed as we can in certain areas. BCR has been pushing for some pollinator habitat um, in a lot of our areas. We've been planting wildflower seeds to attract not only monarchs but other rare bees and other pollinators too um, because there's a lot of different insects that are in population decline at this point. Um, we also have a number of different grasslands and different fields that we manage uh, either for hay or for habitat. Um, in this case, in this field here, this is one of our hay fields, um, which also happens to have a fair amount of milkweed in it. Uh, but now that the, the milkweed is in full growth, uh, we're planning to go through and uh, sweep these uh, different plants and look for caterpillars to protect them. Yes, sir. So we're primarily looking for uh, the caterpillars today um, so that we can relocate them before um, these fields get mowed. Uh, we're primarily interested in that striped caterpillar um, on that other page. Uh, green, yellows, blacks, they could be all different sizes depending on the instar stage it's in. Any size, uh, we can go ahead and collect if we find them. Um, if we come across a chrysalis or um, an egg mass, um, I'll give you guys some flagging. I'm going to hand out some plastic bags. It's really the easiest thing we can think about for transporting leaves and whatnot with the caterpillars. So the idea right now, if you have a caterpillar on a leaf, you can go ahead and just pull off the leaf, and stick it in your bag. That's probably fine. Uh, if it's on a stem, you can break the stem in half. That's fine too. You so milkweed gets its name from the milky substance that's coming out of here, and this is a poisonous plant to most animals, and therefore the monarchs are also poisonous to a lot of animals as well too. So that bright orange butterfly is kind of a sign like don't eat me I'm not tasty <laughs> it's a warning signal and the viceroy which I have on that sheet there too is very similar it mimics the monarch um, so that it also is protected from being eaten from a lot of different things so the natural resources management team here uh, recognizes that we're uh, we're responsible land stewards it's, it's our role to steward this land for the, for the next generation so we're here doing what we can do to provide some benefits to these caterpillars. Milkweed is a very common plant that you can find in New England and throughout the Northeast. Um, so some something that people can do is actually promote the growth of milkweed in their backyard. Um, and uh, don't pull it, don't spray it, um, and just enjoy watching the pollinators come through. 
milkweed flower um, is has a very nice scent to it, um, so it's a really great flower to have in your in your yard or in your garden um, for both its uh, attractiveness, um, its scent, and also for its um, uh, benefits to the monarch butterflies. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope that you're able to do some conservation work at home to help protect monarch butterflies in the future.